what's up you guys it's your boy Jose Zuniga today we're in Miami Beach because well I got a cool video for you guys a lot of you guys always complain that well good style costs a lot of money I don't believe so and today I, I go I want to prove that to you guys and to do so we're in one of the biggest thrift stores here in Miami it's a Goodwill that's completely massive and the goal will be to complete seven or more outfits under 50 bucks total I think that's a pretty uh, daunting task but I think we can do it. When you're part of the TMF squad, you can do anything. We're going to prove that today. Let's go. All right, so this store is massive. I think I'm going to have more than enough to play around here. So I think I'm going to start with pants. I fi figure that's easy, easiest. If I'm going to do seven outfits, I think I'm going to need two to three bottoms. So let's go to the pants section and see what fits. So off the bat, you need to be a little bit open-minded. Obviously, not everything's going to fit perfectly off the rack. So you're going to need to find things that fit as close as possible. You probably won't be finding a lot of slim fits. So find things that you like that look stylish and fit as close as possible. Everything else we're going to fix once we get back to the office. For example, I'd avoid anything super classic like this with all these pleats. This is not going to be versatile for you. And it will be very hard to compose multiple outfits like this. And tailoring this would be a pain in the ass. Here's a good example of a great pickup. They're 32s. It's a little bit used and washed, but you can go with that aesthetic as if it's worn in. But they're Banana Republic. This is a great brand, 33 straight fit. This, I can easily tailor to make them look super modern. They're also only four bucks. Damn, this is a great pickup. So these are a slim fit from Banana Republic, only four bucks. Drawstring, so it's like a jogger dress pant. Look at that tailoring and tapering. Great condition for $4, Banana Republic. So for t-shirts, most of them will always be dressed distressed and kind of faded. So might as well just go with the vibe to make it look like it's intentional and do like old like band tees or just vintage tees that'll look pretty cool with your style. Supima Cotton Hugo Boss Long Sleeve. That's a grail. It's also only four bucks. The guy who bought this first probably paid 150 bucks for it, guaranteed, because we did a video on Hugo Boss. Yeah. Trim Fit Nordstrom Shirt. I probably won't even have to tailor this one. I'll just remove the chest pocket. I think we're good. Let's go check out. That's it, boys. I think I just cleared out all the good items in that Goodwill. We have two full bags. Let's go back to the office. Everything that doesn't fit, we're going to get tailored. And you're just going to see how with 50 bucks, I'm about to complete a whole wardrobe. Let's go. And boys, we're back from thrifting. And everything you see down there, I got from the thrift store for 51 bucks. So just a quick rundown. The t-shirts, they were $1. The shirts, they were $4, sweaters were $5, and pants on average were 7 bucks. So when you tally everything up, three sweaters, three sweaters, 15, three shirts were 12, three pants were 21, and then three t-shirts, that was three bucks. In total, it was around $51, which is amazing. And the craziest part is that a lot of this stuff, Hugo Boss, J. Crew, Gap, Banana Republic, Nordstrom, Perry Ellis, Banana Republic, most of this stuff, is all name brand looks all brand new but to make it look amazing to really show you that style is not about money we're gonna wash all this clothes i just called my tailor up she's gonna come through and she's gonna tailor a few of these pieces to really fit me perfectly and you're gonna see how with only 50 bucks i'm about man i could do like 50 outfits to be honest here but i'm just gonna do 10. let's keep it conservative and all the people say yeah, it's just a little big. Yeah. <laughs> For you, I know a little big is a lot of big. <laughs> huh? So it doesn't have to be super tight, but just, you know. Yeah, it's because it is, I know, it's my kid. Okay. Um, and at the bottom, just taper it because it's, it's pretty big. Yes. Uh, you'd like 12? Uh, same in the others? Yeah, same as the others, really tapered at the bottom. It, but it's a state D size. I, I, I don't think we can make, yeah. That, that size is good, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, once it's tapered, it's gonna look good. We're gonna taper this in to make it look more modern and tailored, and then the pants, we're gonna taper them in to make them again more modern and tailored. The shirt, it's from Nordstrom, fits perfectly. All we're gonna do here is remove the shirt pocket so we can, again, make this look more modern. Tailoring this shirt, and again, on this shirt, I'm gonna be doing the same thing as I did to the red one. Boys, my tailor just got back with me with all my clothing and everything fits perfectly. Like you saw before, some of the stuff was baggy, some stuff look a little bit 
It didn't look too modern, so I wanted to get it altered. Now, one thing that I didn't do that you probably noticed is that I didn't get any shoes from thrift stores, and that's because, well, personally, I just don't like wearing used shoes all that much just because you don't know if somebody had athlete's foot or some sort of fungus that can be contagious. So I prefer buying newer shoes. And again, you can still buy shoes on a budget, but that's the beauty of being on a budget. You don't always just have to buy thrift store items. So I got three dress shirts, two t-shirts, two pants, and three sweaters. If you do the math, it totals out to over 30 combinations, almost 36 combinations with $50. So don't let anybody ever tell you that you can't dress well on a budget, and I'm gonna show you 10 of those combinations in this video. You know, not to bore you with all 36 combinations. But, you, but what you're gonna no notice that I'm gonna be combining my own shoes and my own accessories into these outfits so you can see how you can dress them up with pieces that you bought that are brand new. Because even if you're in a budget, you could still mix in new pieces. And the way that I would recommend you do that is by buying strategic pieces that you know will dress up your outfit. Like your white leather sneakers, a nice dress watch, a good pair of versatile boots, versatile loafers. These are basics that every guy should own in their wardrobe. And if you don't have those yet, I suggest building a list. And the best way to do that is with our sponsor, ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a completely free app. Anybody can download. There's gonna be a link down below. Click it and add it to your web browser or download it to your phone. What ShopTagger allows you to do is that as you're seeing these basics that you want to buy, maybe they're out of your budget at this point, you can add, start tagging those items and creating lists that you can keep. That way when you save up a little bit of money, whether it's 20, 30, or 50 bucks, you can grab that money and spend it wisely on a list of items that you know you'll need for your wardrobe to be able to dress down, dress up your outfits and look more stylish. But Another really sweet feature with Shop Tiger is that it also notifies you when items go on sale or when they're restocked. This is perfect, especially if you're on a budget, because if you wait just a little bit, once the season is over, all these brands start putting their major items on sale. And if one of those items is an item that you've tagged, you can save 10, 20, I've seen up to 70% discounts personally every time I use Shop Tiger. So really, there's no excuse. You don't need to be rich to look good. If you guys want to check out Shop Tiger and download it for free, It'll be linked down below. Now let's hop into these videos. So first, I'm gonna start with my base, which is my pants, and I'm gonna be using these gray jeans that I found at the thrift store. They do fit a little bit on the tight side, but keep in mind they are thrifted. They've probably been washed multiple times, so you can't get too picky, but as you're gonna see overall, they look pretty sweet. The first outfit that I'm gonna do is with this vintage t-shirt that I actually really like the design of. I think this is one of my favorite pickups from this whole thrift store, and then this is outfit number one. The cool thing is that, because I bought several flannels, two to be exact, I can easily throw on this blue flannel over it to create my second outfit. Again, there's a lot of variations here and if I wanted to, I could remove the t-shirt, just leave the flannel and now I have a third outfit. This whole outfit costs under $10 dollars including the flannel. But let's keep it moving. Outfit number two, same gray jeans, but this time I'm gonna throw it on black band t-shirt. Again, this is a really cool t-shirt because it throws in a little bit of character and I think it was a really sweet peak pickup. And again, this is just one outfit in, in and of itself. If I wanna dress it up, I can throw the flannel over it. I could take off the t-shirt underneath, just wear the button down, and I have, a, I have a completely different outfit. But let's keep it going. One of my most valuable pickups has to be this one. This simple outfit, just with the blue Henley. You guys know I love myself a Henley, but this one in particular, it's from Hugo Boss. Now I've done videos at Hugo Boss and a simple polo shirt could cost you up to 150 and a t-shirt can cost you over $100. I've done videos on them on this channel. So this t-shirt is safe to say probably cost 150 given that it's Supima Cotton and it's Hugo Boss and Jose picked it up for under five bucks. Our next outfit, we're gonna change the base into these red chino. These are from Perry Ellis. They do, they, they are cropped a little bit higher. This is how they fit off the rack when I bought them, but I got them tailored a little bit more. So I'm just going to go for the crop look and rock it as if I intended to, to wear them this way and not as if I just thrifted them because it's all about the mentality. So here I paired it with my Nordstrom shirt. Now this Nordstrom shirt, if you remember, had a pocket detail, which I had my tailor removed to make the shirt look more modern, but the shirt itself is a trim cut from Nordstrom. So it fit perfectly and I didn't have to tailor it at all. And of course, I'm dressing all these outfits up with accessories, like I'm saying, with my own shoes, with a nice watch, and of course, some nice sunglasses. These sunglasses that look super high-end and expensive, you wanna know how much they are? 49 bucks. And that's because they're from our brand Jade Black. Now, if you haven't heard about Jade Black yet, 
um, you're living under a rock. Because this is a brand that we've been working on endlessly to create frames that look super high end, that if you hold them next to a pair of Ray-Ban that costs $200, or even next to a pair of Saint Laurent's that cost you $500, you can barely tell the difference in quality. We put in as much quality as possible, as much as we could, and we priced them as affordably as we could. We don't care too much about profit. What I really care about is for you to look like a stylish stud. And after months of sourcing and going back and forth with samples and trying to solidify the final design, we're done boys. Our collection is here and our inventory just came in and our launch is this February 9th. The best part, our frames, only 49 bucks with free shipping. Which means that if you were to buy a pair of Ray-Bans, you're spending 200. With us, you can buy yourself four pairs of our jade black sunglasses that come in different designs from the Clubmaster to our round frames to our wafers or our aviators that come in multiple colors, buy four different ones, have a strong accessory collection that you can now use to dress up your outfits and look like a million bucks without spending a million bucks. So remember, our launch is this February 9th, Saturday, 10 a.m. Eastern. And if you want to be one of the first to pick up one of our pairs, click the link down below and put in your mailing address. That way you're gonna get you're gonna be one of the first guys to receive an email when our store opens. You can buy yourself some nice sunglasses. But let's keep it moving. Our next outfit, something super simple. Just layer a sweater over. Like I said, I did end up picking up three different sweaters. I'm not gonna layer them all, which I could, to create different looks. I'm just gonna layer this one to give you the concept of it. This is a beautiful Levi green hunter green sweater it has almost an oversized fit to it and honestly the the natural fading that it has creates beautiful characteristics in the outfit that it's hard to replicate with new clothing and the whole outfit it looks like a million bucks this outfit looks like you did spend hundreds of dollars on it and most people would never know you spend like 11 bucks. as a final outfit just to show you an example of what $50 can get you worth in style is this one this is a J Crew sweater Beautiful sweater, it's nice and thick, perfect for winter. It looks ultra luxurious. And in case you've never bought from J. Crew before, a J. Crew sweater, especially one like this, easily will cost you over a hundred bucks. This one, I think it cost me like, I don't even remember, it was like four or five bucks. That's freaking amazing. So guys, that's it for today's week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsor, Shop Tiger, and don't, don't forget that we have our Jade Black launch Saturday, February 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern. That's it for me today. See you next time.